What's up guys, it's Mouth97 and welcome back to another episode of Debit 13 Universe Mode. Today we have Monday Night Raw and we're going to kick things off here with a tag team contest between Primo and Epico. Taking on Jimmy and Jay the Usos, as we can see we have Primo in the ring with Jimmy Uso, I believe, that's Jimmy Uso. As you see, there's a nice crucifix takedown there by Primo, but as... Ha! Ah, I can't speak now. But anyways, in our main event tonight, we'll be seeing CM Punk, the WWE Champion. He'll be taking on Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose, he challenged CM Punk to a one-on-one -on -one contest. And we're going to see if Dean Ambrose can su successfully knock off the champion here tonight. Big drop kick there by Epico. On to Jimmy Uso. That might actually be Jay. I honestly don't remember the difference between the two. But anyway, nice DDT there by Epico. And now Epico, big drop kick to the side of the head of Uso. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep saying uh, maybe it's Jay. I'm going to go ahead and say Jimmy, though. No, wait. Ah, okay, this one's Jay Uso, I think. So I'm, I'm going to call him Jay Uso, and if I'm wrong, then oh well. But as you see, Epico going for the triple back suplexes, and there's a German suplex off the third. And now Epico... If he could get the pin here, that might be all she wrote for the Usos, but no. Epico, he's going to Irish Whip. Uh, what, what was I going to say? It's supposed to Jimmy, Jey Uso. And a big double backstabber there from Primo and Epico. And now Primo into the cover, hooks the legs. One, two, three, and Primo and Epico pick up the victory and snap their losing streak. As they were doing a lot of losing as of late, they lost that tag team match to Zack Ryder and Jack Swagger. Then they lost to the tag team champions, Air Boom. But it looks like they're maybe finally starting to get back on track here. Oh no! Look out! And welcome back to Universe Mode as we just saw He's Kofi down. Kingston came down to the We're ring really and attacked match. Jack Swagger as he was making his entrance here. Now we see there's the standing, the head headstand headlock there by Dolph Ziggler. And Dolph Ziggler show. looking to take advantage. He this is a number one contenders together, match. Together, if Ziggler can friendly, pick up the victory over Jack Swagger, he will become your new number one contender for the United right States now, title. Now, heading into over the limit. Nice, nice neck, neck twist there from Dolph Ziggler. And Ziggler off the top rope went for the elbow drop, but Swagger was able to roll out of the way. And now Jack Swagger looks to take advantage. He was attacked, but he's going to have to muster some sort of offense quickly or else Dolph Ziggler should be able to wear out the real American. And now Dolph Ziggler, he's got Swagger up. Big back suplex there by Dolph Ziggler. Now Ziggler going up top, looking to hit the elbow drop, and he connects this time. Hooking the leg, one, and a kick out by Jack Swagger to count of one. And now Dolph Ziggler went for the running clothesline, but Swagger docks him with a huge German suplex, takes down Dolph Ziggler. And again, Ziggler with a running maneuver, but Jack Swagger was able to counter with a German suplex. And now Dolph Ziggler with a shot to the face, but now Swagger able to block it. And he connects with a fist to the face of Dolph Ziggler. Now Dolph Ziggler. He has a headlock. Anyone for the drop kick, but Swagger was able to swat Ziggler out of the way. And now Jack Swagger facing off against his former tag team partner, former business associate of Vicky Guerrero, and also former friends. But now these two have become enemies. There's a big knee to the face there by Dolph Ziggler. And Ziggler, he claimed that Swagger was holding him back in that tag team in real life in this universe mode though however Man, swagger decided to turn the tables and he joined up with zack Ryder, and that that's just sort of left off ziggler out there ziggler did join up with biggie and aj however ziggler still wants a little bit of retribution and there's a big running super kick there by dolph ziggler and now ziggler he's standing up swagger what's he looking to follow that up with and now Swagger with a kick to the gut now as Ziggler goes off the ropes looking to get a running start. And there's the famous serve by Dolph Ziggler. And now Dolph, he's spinning Swagger around. I think he's going to go to the top rope. Here goes Ziggler off the top rope. Famous or off the top rope. That could be it. Ziggler just needs to cover Swagger. He does hooks the leg. One. No, not even a two count as Swagger was able to kick out. And now Dolph Ziggler. Looked like he was going for maybe some sort of a drop kick there, but Swagger was able to catch him beforehand. But there's the drop kick, Ziggler connects. And now Dolph Ziggler. 
sort of his old taunt rune. I mean, it was always like, my name is Dolph Ziggler. And Dolph Ziggler. Oh, and there's a nice old style wrestling classic, or I'm not exactly sure, like pro wrestling, amateur wrestling maneuver. All right, because pro wrestling is the fake wrestling and real wrestling. I mean, well, not fake, but you know, the, the entertainment wrestling and then amateur wrestling is the real wrestling. So, I mean, okay, well, not real, but it's the... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I, where I'm going with that. I'm just going to stop there before things get worse. But anyway, Dolph Ziggler, he's got the headlock on the outside as he dove over the top rope on the Jack Swagger. And now Dolph Ziggler, he's got Swagger on his heels. If Ziggler can pick up a victory here, he will become the number one contender. And there's a big neck breaker there by Jack. Dolph Ziggler onto the outside. And heading into over the limit. We know Jack Swagger is going to defend his title, but if he defeats Ziggler here, we won't know who he will defend the title against. And now Jack Swagger gets a running start, and there's a nice German suplex there by Jack Swagger using his amateur background to take down Dolph Ziggler. And Ziggler with a big super kick to the face busts open the United States Champion cover. Two count and three. It's over. Dolph Ziggler just like that is your new number one contender for the United States Championship. He gets a big victory here over Jack Swagger. And now he's got a victory over both members of the Ryder and Swagger team. He defeated Ryder at Extreme Rules, and now he's got a victory over Jack Swagger. Actually, two victories over Jack Swagger. And welcome back, everybody, to Monday Night Raw. Now we see CM Punk squaring off against Dean Ambrose. One, well, not the Shield doesn't really have a leader, but he's a member of the Shield, and now Dean Ambrose looking to make an impact for on behalf of the Shield, as they've been. We haven't seen much of the Shield so far in this universe mode. I don't think they've actually made an appearance yet. Maybe they made one beforehand, but I don't think they've really made an appearance yet in the universe. But anyway, Dean Ambrose. Kick to the arm and shot to the arm there of CM Punk. And what a way for the Shield to possibly make a statement here. Dean Ambrose can pick up a victory over the WWE Champion here. And now we see Dean Ambrose elbow to the arm of CM Punk because he looks like he's going to start by targeting the arm of CM Punk. The, the self-proclaimed best in the world. And there's a nice hip toss by Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose... He's now looking to capitalize on CM Punk, but Punk with a shot to the face now. He's got Ambrose in a headlock, and there's a Hurricanrana. Nice move there by CM Punk. And CM Punk now going on the arm of Dean Ambrose. But Dean Ambrose is able to counter the first duck behind him. Now CM Punk able to get out of that nice chain grappling here. And now we see Dean Ambrose with a headlock. Arm breaker there to CM Punk. Nice maneuver there by Dean Ambrose. And now Ambrose... He's got Punk in a headlock, but Punk, he's able to reverse out of it. And now Punk, with the Irish whip, into the corner sends Dean Ambrose. And there's a shot to the kidneys there, or maybe the back, I'm not exactly sure. But Punk off the top, or off the second rope, and this nice DDT there, using the ropes to gain a little bit of extra leverage there. Now Punk with a kick to the leg. He's now got Dean Ambrose in a headlock. CM Punk kicks to the face of Dean Ambrose. Could very well knock him out, but Dean Ambrose able to catch the leg there as Punk went for a gut kick and Ambrose goes for the elbow but misses and now Dean Ambrose ducks behind CM Punk got him in a headlock now and there's the arm breaker again by Dean Ambrose and CM Punk he's been pretty busy as of late in universe mode we saw back he went into that feud well he was sort of just destroying both John Cena and Chris Jericho Jericho ended up getting the upper hand on CM Punk heading into the Extreme Rules pay-per-view but Punk was able to retain the WWE title at the pay-per-view Perfect we then saw the, the Miz. Punk had also gotten involved with the Miz. Miz ended up losing the Intercontinental title. Punk was supposed to compete in the Champions Battle Royal, but the Miz came down to interfere in that. And then the Miz ended up winning that Battle Royal. And so far, he hasn't gone after CM Punk really too much yet. But we will be seeing the Miz in action on the SmackDown Live Tour. It'll be the Miz taking on fellow Shield member Seth Rollins and there's a nice Northern Light suplex there by Dean or by CM Punk and CM Punk he'll be in action as well because on the Smackdown Live Tour we'll be seeing in our main event contest it'll be a six man elimination nice elbow to the face there by CM Punk but it'll be a six man elimination tag team match and now CM Punk with a leg head scissor and there's this elbow to the face of Dean Ambrose Ambrose sweeping out the leg and now Ambrose, he's got Punk, nice kick to the gut there, the lower abdomen of CM Punk. And CM Punk, 
He will be competing in a six-man tag team match on the SmackDown Live Tour in an eliminations-style tag match. He'll be teaming with... Nice Total World backbreaker there. But he'll be teaming with the World Heavyweight Champion Alberto Del Rio and his assistant Tyson Kidd. And they'll be taking on the team of Sheamus and Team Hell No. So that should be a good match to see. As we all know, CM Punk, last episode on SmackDown, he came out and attacked... Sheamus and Daniel Bryan after the match Daniel Bryan had made Alberto Del Rio tap out and he got the victory in that triple threat contest but Punk decided not to attack Del Rio he only went after Sheamus and Daniel Bryan so Punk he just seems to have a beef with everybody he went after the Intercontinental Champion he went after now getting sticking his nose into the World Heavyweight Championship feud when Punk he's got to worry about potential challengers for that WWE title instead of trying to go after the next title over on SmackDown. Now Dean Ambrose went for a move off the ropes, but Punk was able to counter. And now CM Punk, nice side rush and leg sweep there onto Dean Ambrose. And now Dean Ambrose, CM Punk is gonna flip him over. And now the camel clutch is locked in by CM Punk, looking to make Dean Ambrose tap. Ambrose, can he get to the ropes? And he does. No, no, he's able to lift up CM Punk and get out of the camel clutch. But I had pay-per-view um, the other day. I was trying to make a video for something. Oh, what is this? Dean Ambrose, figure four leg lock. He's got the figure four locked in on CM Punk. It's almost either paying, paying homage to Ric Flair or just disrespecting the WWE, taking one of its famous legends, submission holds, but Punk is able to reverse it and get out of the figure four. But I was trying to make a video the other day for something, and... The, me, like I was trying to get a song and I had moved the music from my computer to this little SD card that I had because um, I wanted to save like space on my computer, save memory so maybe the recordings would work better like it wouldn't glitch up as much as it has been because it likes to do that a lot and now CM Punk is going to the top rope what's he looking to do here? he's got Amber set up on the announce table and there's the elbow drop through the announce table off the top rope CM Punk Destroying the announce table here live on Monday Night Raw. He's in big and now Punk with the Irish whip sending Ambrose back onto the apron. But like I was saying, I was making a video and I was trying to get some of the music that I had moved to the SD card. And it had, this one was just a random audio that I had made in um, my school has garage band on the computers and we had to make a song for this one project using some of the like instrumentals and stuff. But I um, tried to use part of that in my video. And for some reason, the video was, like, not the video, but the music file was, like, corrupted or something. And then when I tried to open it, it wouldn't open. And then it ended up deleting, like, because I had my universe songs that I was, well, the songs I was going to use for universe mode. I had them on the SD drive as well. And for some reason, when I tried to open the um, audio I was going to use for the last video, it didn't want to open and then it ended up like changing all the video file or the music files so for some reason now um i just deleted all the files like it changed it completely changed the folders there's nothing there so i don't know exactly what happened so i'm gonna have to download the songs again anyway cover by dean ambrose one count two count i'll have to download them onto my computer again so i'll be able to use them but anyway that kind of sucks um, so I'll have to go ahead and find those songs again, and I had plenty of them, so I'm going to have to remember what they all were. Nice running kick to the face there by CM Punk, and now CM Punk, he's going springboard, it looks like he's going off the top rope, and there's the elbow onto Dean Ambrose, and now CM Punk kick to the back of Dean Ambrose. But anyway, I will make sure I get some of those themes back, so that way we'll be ready for Over the Limit. When I do my next pay-per-view preview, I'm going to get another song for that. And nice inverted suplex there by CM Punk. I think that was the Falcon's arrow type maneuver. And there's a scoop slam by CM Punk. He goes off the ropes and a leg drop to Dean Ambrose. And now CM Punk looks to capitalize on Dean Ambrose, dragging him to the center of the ring. Here's the cover. Hooks the leg. One, two, and no. Dean Ambrose able to kick out at a count of two. And now Punk. Ambrose went for a shot to the face. But now Punk, he's got the arm, the arm bar locked in. Sort of a wrist lock maneuver. As he could very well try to break the wrist of Dean Ambrose here, but Dean Ambrose able to hook the, able to scissor CM Punk's head with his legs to get out of it. And now it looked like he was going for a maneuver, but there's a thumb to the eye by the WWE champion CM Punk, longest reigning champion of the modern era, 
has his hands full here with Dean Ambrose. It's Dean Ambrose went for a running clothesline, but he was unable to connect, and now he's got Punk in a headlock. And a nice pendulum backbreaker there, trying to snap the spine of CM Punk. And now Punk back up onto his feet, looking to get fired up here. But Ambrose, smart, he was able to go to the outside to avoid Punk trying to hulk up. And now he's got Punk rolled up, one count, two, and no, oh, Punk, that was two and a half, two and three quarters. He almost had Punk beat, but Punk was able to roll the shoulder and kick out. And now Dean Ambrose pulls him back. There's a hip toss on a CM Punk. And Dean Ambrose, you have to admit, he, you have to respect the man. He's taken it to the WWE Champion here. And there's a shot to the face of CM Punk. And now Dean Ambrose, the Irish whip to Punk. He's going to throw him. No, he pulls him back. And another hip toss by Dean Ambrose. And now Ambrose. Fist drop to the face. And now Ambrose is going to get back up. And there's a second one. And shades of Ted DiBiase here. And there's a third. Shades of Ted DiBiase. And his son, Ted DiBiase Jr. there. The million dollar man. And I guess the million dollar son. I don't know exactly what to call it. But anyway. CM Punk. Soda twist clothesline there. Nice maneuver there. Nice innovative maneuver there by CM Punk. And now CM Punk looks to capitalize here. He's going to put... Tried to pick up Ambrose for a suplex, but Ambrose able to block and reverse it. And now Dean Ambrose is on the offensive here. And Punk, oh, he just raced the eyes of Dean Ambrose, and now CM Punk, big kick to the side of the head, nice roundhouse kick there. That could very well just knock him unconscious. But Ambrose is back up to his feet, and there's a drop to a hold. Driving CM Punk's face into the mat, and now Ambrose looking to get the cover here. Hooks the leg, one. No, Punk able to still kick out at, after a count of one. And there's a nice leg sweep takedown there by Dean Ambrose. And now Dean Ambrose, he's going to drag CM Punk into the center of the ring. Hooks the leg, here's the cover. One, and a kick out by CM Punk. And now Dean Ambrose shots to the face, looking to build some momentum here. Dean Ambrose, he ducks behind CM Punk now. And he's got him up on his shoulders for a back suplex. Nice maneuver there by C Dean, Dean Ambrose. Taking down CM Punk. And again, Ambrose going for frequent covers here. Trying to wear out the champion. One count and a kick out by CM Punk again. CM Punk, he's got to expend energy to kick out of these pinfalls. And now Dean Ambrose headbutt to the back of the head of CM Punk. And Dean Ambrose, he's giving everything he's got against CM Punk here. But CM Punk just keeps kicking out. And Dean Ambrose, he's got Punk in the corner, and there's a big running clothesline by Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose going to every move in his arsenal here. And now he's got the arms locked, and I'm not exactly sure what type of maneuver that is. Looks like he was trying to wear out CM Punk. And now he's dragging to the center of the ring. Could this be it? Here's the cover. One, and a kick out by CM Punk in a count of one. Dean Ambrose, he does not know how to put CM Punk away. CM Punk, another wrist lock locked in on Dean Ambrose as he's really working on the wrist here. Trying to force Dean Ambrose to tap it again. Ambrose able to hook the hook the head. And he just spikes him into the mat. And now Dean Ambrose. Oh, he's setting up Punk here. He's just lying in wait. And now Ambrose, he's got Punk up onto his shoulders. And this could be a Celtic cross type maneuver. And he takes him down. Dean Ambrose connects with his finisher. And here's the cover on Punk. Doesn't even hook the leg. How arrogant is that? Three count and it's over Dean Ambrose. Picks up the victory on CM Punk, and he didn't even bother to hook the leg there. He knew he had Punk beat, and he just sort of disrespectfully shoved that elbow across the face of Punk in that pinfall. And now Ambrose maybe trying to get, trying to help out CM Punk here, but low blow by CM Punk. And I'm actually surprised Dean Ambrose was going to shake that, was trying to help Punk up. I don't think that was a smart move by Punk. If you you want to have the shield on your side, not against you. Believe in the shield. Ambrose picks up the victory. Punk obviously doesn't. Thanks for watching. Keep on YouTube.